people. Philly, oh, they were right. Philly wouldn't have taken that. Yeah. Philly, I didn't understand. <laughs> Dude, Philly's so brutal because sometimes you will see a once in a lifetime thing if a band's like fuck that. One time I went to Ozfest and it was Judas Priest, Black Sabbath were the headlines. Yeah. And Ozzy didn't show up. He was sick. And but they announced when they came out to announce it, they go uh, Ozzy Osbourne uh, unfortunately couldn't make it. He sent this uh, letter or whatever along. And Bill Ward read, read it, and it was like, I'm sorry, I can't make it, but uh, my good friend Rob Halford, lead singer of Judas Priest, has agreed to come out in front Black Sabbath tonight. Holy and, shit. And do all the songs you love and blah, blah, blah. And also, and Rob Rob Halford, when he says that, he goes, it's Rob Halford's birthday also. And he started music because he loved Black You know what I mean? It's like yeah. there's all these things coming to place. It's awesome. Philly just went. I mean, there was, I'm telling you, there's hundreds of people left from 25,000. Hundreds stayed to watch. They're like, fuck this. And Rob Hammer could have been more gracious. He's like, oh, it's my birthday. Yeah. 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 What a treat to play with the greatest metal band of all time. Like, fuck fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> but Philly, my favorite. Do you have, do you have favorite Philly? Uh, like things you saw like at the stadiums like oh yeah i have dude. so many like as far as just like i love it like philly stuff the two for me were uh them well just the idea because it's happened so many times like how much they boo when frisbee dog like misses <laughs> but then the turn when he makes one they go fucking nuts dude that i went to a monday night game <laughs> once with uh the mid the, they said like you know stay around for the halftime show hometown heroes hall and oats yeah are gonna play and they went out and started playing uh like we were losing too i think at halftime and like they they came out and started a, a new ballad oh dude you gotta play classics it was crazy and the place starts raining down booze yeah <laughs> and in mid song the sweetest couple of all time in, in mid song in mid song it's a it's a ballad in the mid song yeah. he stops and he turns around to everybody and he's like pointing to people and he goes he goes, she'll only come out at night. Yes. <laughs> I mean, the immediate turn makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> I like, like, we hate you until we, that's what, yeah. it, it's literally what Ben Simmons couldn't get. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you're diving for a ball away from being everyone's yeah. favorite. Yeah. Like, what are you such like a dummy? It's a new bit on stage, you know it's bombing, and you just like slide into a, a classic. Yeah. Dude, I went to that, I went to that, uh, it was a Flyers Capitals playoff game. It was like the, I think it was game three, and it was the first game right after Snyder died. Okay. So they gave out all these like wristbands. These like it was like the first time they'd ever done these like these flashing wristbands and put like beautiful like honoring him before the game. And they had this whole light show that was like connected to your yeah, wrist. Coldplay basically. just did that, dude. It was it was amazing. <laughs> and, like, I saw Coldplay, dude. Fifty seconds into the game, Flyers score. It, it was like place was going absolutely nuts. Capitals proceed to come back and absolutely beat the shit out of us. <laughs> Dude. So, so in the third period, they score they score like a power play go to goal to go up like six one or something like that. To start throwing them. <laughs> From the upper deck. <laughs> Rain. Thousands of electric of bracelets rain. just are coming down, right? <laughs> so they spend like you know 10 minutes like cleaning them up. And uh, and the 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 voice of God in you know who's always like the calmest guy ever. He's like Claude Drew goal, you know, like yeah. He's like he's like you can't do that again, Philly. Like <laughs> do that again, we're gonna get a penalty, right? Immediately, capital score again. It's uh, <laughs> another like, just as a fan, barrage. you're like I hope they score. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. <laughs> another barrage of bracelets down from the other upper deck. They get a bench miner. This guy who's been nothing but calm all season. He's like the nicest guy in the world. Like, Listen up, oh, Queen right, Philly. <laughs> <laughs> we got a penalty. He starts flipping out. More bracelets start coming down. It was insane. They never did those bracelets again. You know what? For, yeah. I think two Philly, years. I think. Philadelphia might have the highest concentration of people that are aware of what you're one night in jail limit is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yes. everyone who started doing it at that point was just like. I'll sleep it off in the journey. Yeah. Like, I'll be home tomorrow. I'll see you like, like, Honestly, like, they're just like, I've been arrested for the night before a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Like, everyone just kind of gets it. I love that. Yeah, you turn I'll be in there with my friends. It'll be fine. 
Yeah. You, no, we can't arrest us all. You know what I mean? You're <laughs> yeah. not, you're not throwing a Molotov cocktail. So like, I'm gonna have fun. This is like, oh, yeah. it's just like an extra boost for the ticket. It is you know? weird, dude. I don't know if it makes me a, a a not good enough Philadelphia because I'm so passionate about the team, like yeah, me too. Uh, the ones that I love too. Yeah. Like, you know, Sixers, uh, Eagles are like I die hard on both, and like I couldn't see any slight of the actual like something they would do if someone like grab me by my fucking face and pushed me and was like eagles suck yeah <laughs> like doesn't really matter what he said do you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. that's the weird <laughs> thing but i couldn't see getting into a physical thing uh, it, uh, okay, eagles like, how many rings you got how many oh, rings you yeah, get yeah, into no, like no. a real thing <laughs> like, if I'm like what's wrong with it dude? <laughs> yeah, well, especially yeah, yeah. when i was, i think i told may have told you guys this before but going with bargazzi because he got a hookup yeah uh, to go to the after party at Chicken Pete's with the yeah. Eagles when they got knocked out of the playoffs against the Giants. It was mathematically That's over. That's a funeral. You and can't go, go to... And go, no, I went with Chicken yeah. Pete's and I'm telling you, the people who would give a shit, which I believe were Brian Westbrook, Dawkins, and uh, McNabb, the three of them weren't at the party. Yeah. Uh, maybe some other people too, but those were the three I recognized weren't there. Javon Curse, all these other people, dude, they were out the talking to chicks and drinking and eating and yeah. having a good old time. And I was like... I don't Why even do that. Why would some guy go home and fuck? Exactly. I'm like, some guy goes home in the city and cracks his wife in the face 100%. for some same reason <laughs> yeah. over that game. And you guys are really just like, Man, we're millionaires. And then, like, you know, Dude, I remember the, earlier this year. You also remember that they're like 20 something. It's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kids, I remember like, yeah, I remember like losing games in high school sports. And for like the first 20 minutes of the bus ride just devastated yeah. and then someone would fart or something and then all of a sudden <laughs> it's just like, yeah. it doesn't matter if you've lost the state championship you're just like, by the time you get home everyone's you fucking around it's like, that life goes on, man. <laughs> that's actually the saddest part about yeah. philly sports is like the, the level of passion is it's embarrassing yeah like it fucks me up for for quite some time when we lose our game let alone a playoff game Oh, like man. my, yeah, uh, my ex-girlfriend you, you always be like on Sundays like if they lose she used to, she used to <laughs> literally console me <laughs> it's so sad like I was in the locker room <laughs> she would like softly walk in the living room and be like I'm sorry baby are you okay <laughs> you, start rubbing your you know belly? how sad yeah. that is dude yeah. it's like embarrassing because you want to go it's like I'm fine it's just yeah, like give but me I'm five not. minutes yeah yeah well, give, me five. I, uh, give me five days I'll be I fine I sent uh, everybody away once I think it was when we lost to the it was the Cardinals to go to the Dawkins, I think, last game mm -hmm. as an mm -hmm. Eagle. He cried in the press conference uh, saying he thought this was the year. And I remember, and I think Soder and a couple other people, maybe Nate, and people were all at my house. And they were like, hey, uh, like, what do you want to do now? I'm like, or we were all supposed to maybe go into the city for spots. And I was like, guys, just go. Yeah. I'm going to stay here. <laughs> go without me. Just go. Yeah. And they're like, what are you going to do? And I go, I'm going to watch – this fucking Kevin Kolb speech. Uh, <laughs> this everything that sucks about this right now. I have to go torture myself with. Dude, just watch the game again. When the Bucks beat us in the conference championship, it was right before the conference championship, I think in like 2003, maybe. The procession out of that stadium. Oh. was I still will never forget it. Like literally no one made a sound. All you heard was like fucking Air Force One shuffling down the steps. <laughs> was that the year that Ja Rule performed wearing the Tampa colors I in the audience? I don't for the remember. halftime show? I don't remember. <laughs> that may have been a Falcons one too. What a fucking idiot. Jesus. But anyway, yeah, that was like I never I went to a the last last year I went to a playoff game, but like I, I try and avoid the real big ones because I, I it's just Dude, when they lost the Super Bowl shame. in I wish 04, I... 05? Yeah, oh, 05. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was 05. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I mean, West Philly was everything was getting destroyed. Yeah. I remember <laughs> with my friends just finding like any Mercedes that had that like, just ripping that fucking <laughs> <laughs> just destroying people's yeah. I, I, I have so much. Yeah, uh, so much Ripping like license, felt terrible license. for that when, when, especially when someone had the Jaguar or the <laughs> yeah, Mercedes the, one. Yeah. And you're like, oh, dude, yeah, yeah. you fucked someone's day pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs>